about rock music and Gossip Girl, you seem to think that the Gossip Girl audience is not really fond of rock music. Why is that? I mean, I know a lot of girls, including myself, who like to watch Gossip Girl as a guilty pleasure and still listen to mostly rock music. Well, you look very rock and roll. Thank um, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, I, didn't, I never said that. I mean, I, I just said I think uh, some of the Gossip Girl audience probably was surprised that I played mm. rock music. Um, you know, because when you, I, I mean, I understand when you learn to know someone as a character, it's hard to see them outside of their character. And I'm very different from Jenny Humphrey in real life. So I think it's a transition for people to see me for Taylor and not just as Jenny. Now that's a problem actually, because people seem to think that the change we can observe in Jenny's character is real. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know Jenny Humphrey's not a real person, everyone. <laughs> she is a character. <laughs> So you, uh, who introduced introduced you to rock music? Um, my dad, I guess. When I, I mean, I've listened to rock my whole life. Uh, I grew up listening to the Beatles um, all the time, and Led Zeppelin and the Who, a lot of the classics. Um, he had a big, or still does, has a big uh, vinyl record collection. So I listened to you know on the old record player, and he'd burn me cassette tapes for oh. the car and for my little what is it, Walkman. <laughs> um, so, you know, I grew up with it and just became a part of, you know, I learned great music at a very young age and I never kind of went back. That's what I still listen to now. And you've always wanted to be a rock star. Uh, yeah, who doesn't want to be a rock star? But know, I've, right? always, I've always wanted to be a, a musician and, and play in a band. And um, I've been a singer-songwriter since I was like five. So <laughs> clearly it's, it's progressed and, and my songs have gotten a little bit better than when I was five. But, you know, it's always been something I've been working on and, and, and what I do. And are your lyrics autobiographical? I mean, uh. do you like tell your life in your lyrics, private parts of your life that we can actually understand if we listen to the lyrics? Um, the, it's, the, it's an interesting question. I mean, th yes, in one sense, the, the record is very, very much me. It's a very, very honest record. Um, it's, you know, it, it's the closest, like, I always say, it's the closest thing that fans or anyone if it will get to knowing me for real is if they listen to the record. If they listen, you know, you can read tabloids and you can read interviews and things, but it, it's just a sound bite, you know, like the record was a piece of work that I worked on for two years and, um, yeah, it's very, very personal, but also it's written very metaphorically, so, you know, every line is not meant to be taken literally. Um, it's meant to interpret how, how you want to interpret it, and I think you can, you can get more out of music if you don't try to relate it to the, you know, don't try to listen to the lyrics literally to the artist of what happened to them, you know what I mean? But try to relate it to you and, and, and find what it means to you and let it move you. And you've said a lot of things about sexual relationships, sex toys, the <laughs> famous quote about the sex toy, and uh, dating older guys. Well, you're a girl, am I wrong? <laughs> no, you're no, not. No, I'm not. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know, right? That's, that's why, uh, coming from a 17-year-old, it shocked a lot of people. But if you listen to any 17-year-old nowadays, they say the same things. It's just because you're famous that it makes people talk. So well, I, I think I'm, I'm honest. I think in a lot of people in the public, I aren't. And, <laughs> I, you know, I don't think there's any other, I don't think there's a reason to lie. Like, you either like me or you don't. I'm not asking you to, but here's who I am, you know. And I also think that, you know, young women should, you know, learn about themselves. And I don't think that that should be an, a shameful topic or really the fact that it's controversial, I think, is wrong <laughs> like you know like I've said guys can talk about masturbating and girls can't like yeah, that's just sexist entirely but how do you feel about people always comparing you to Courtney Love or you being like the next Lindsay Lohan saying like you're what, a few steps away from your first <laughs> trip to re rehab that's, actu that's actually really harsh how do you feel about that well I don't care um, you know people are always gonna say something and they're always gonna People are always going to compare everyone to someone because that's just what human nature is. You know, everyone does that. Um, but it, I don't necessarily think the comparisons are right. I mean, <laughs> all you, like I, I don't. I'm not a, a party girl. You know, like I just I don't. I don't like. I'm very shy. I don't like big crowds. I would never choose. I would never want to go to a club. Like that would not be fun for me. Now, I mean, I'm not saying I won't have a drink with my band like on the tour bus once in a while or whatever. But it's not like I'm. You know out there <laughs> going nuts, you know, but what teenager doesn't? So I, I don't think, I think everything is kind of a little bit heightened for a story, which is fine. But it always comes back to your age. Like most people, what people say behind your backs, they actually don't say it in, in interviews, but 
people are wondering what kind of relationships you have with your parents or what do you what, what do they think about this situation my parents are very supportive um, you know uh, they're my dad's they're both they're very very proud of me you know because they know who I am that's the thing is you know what people what I'm conveyed is a very different thing in press and, and tabloids like to make me look like something that I'm not which I'm not going to argue it because I'm not going to respond to lies or to bullshit because it's just a waste of my time. I have better things to do with my day. Um, but, you know, my, and my parents know that, so it's not a thing that, you know, they know. I, I work all the time. I'm a workaholic. I write. I care about what I do. I really care about the music. Like, when we're on tour, it's not a giant party the whole time. It's we're really, like, it's, we're very focused on the show. We're focused on being, like, on and the best you can be at the show. It's all about the music. And I think that's, it. a lot of people probably don't think that. Yeah. But you know, the people who know me do, so why <laughs> I know it doesn't really matter. And since it's a website for girls, a few words about fashion. What What is your relationship with fashion and your sense of style, which is particular. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, again, the fact that you're 17 years old is what makes people cringe about the way you dress. Do you care about that at all? And where do, where does it come from? No, I also think that I you know you shouldn't. When you're 17 years old, isn't that like the time you can wear anything and get away with it? Um, so, <laughs> but I lo I love fashion and I love playing with it and I love pushing its boundaries and you know uh, the way I dress personally isn't for everyone, but. You know, the way other people dress isn't for me, so that's okay, you know, and, and I think that's what's cool about fashion is it has so many liberties to it that allows, you know, any girl, no matter what age, or, or guy, to, to, to really express themselves in the way they present themselves, and, and you know, it's, it's almost another art form in that way, that you can really, you know, uh, express yourself every day without even trying you know so it's what whatever you put on as long as it's true to you that style that's fashion it doesn't have to be in in a magazine to make it cool or style or fashionable you know what I mean it, it's what you're wearing is fashion it's style it's your style <laughs> <laughs> and my style is not for everyone but it's not supposed to be it's my style you know what I mean yeah <laughs> about acting I mean are you still interested in your role on Gossip Girl or Any acting at all, actually? Well, yeah, Gossip Girl's been a great ride for me, and, and acting, you know, it's uh, it's something I've been doing my whole life. I've been doing it since I was two, so I grew up with it, literally. So, you know, when you do something your whole life, it's what you know, it's what you've learned, and it would be weird for me to, to just lose that whole first half of my life all of a sudden, but, you know, so I don't really know how I, how I feel about it at the moment, but I do know, like, whether I'll, you know, continue acting in the future or not, but... I uh, haven't decided yet, but uh, I'm playing it by ear. But um, you know, music I do know is the thing that I've done my whole life. It's the thing I chose, and it's uh, that's my dream. That's you know, I want to make records for the rest of my life and play shows. And whether people hear them or not, hopefully they will. <laughs> you know, hopefully the records that I'm writing will get actually put out. But um, you know, if they don't, I'll still be writing them and making them for me because. I do it for me, like I would, I'd be dead without music. So whether the rest of my career in, in acting and stuff is something I do for the rest of my life, I don't know yet. But music will be, for sure. Okay, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing because it, it looks very promising, actually. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you going to come to the show on Thursday? Uh, good question. You should. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> come backstage, hang out. It'll be good. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll try to do that. I also want to dress up. Okay, thank you very thank much you. for that. Oh, I want to tell everyone to Twitter me at Taylor Momsen. I'm already You're gonna following say that. you. Okay. okay. Well, <laughs> everyone, who, everyone who doesn't have <laughs> follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you.